Intel score IT dash three one one zero M with IT dash four zero one zero U. The IT dash three one one zero M belongs to the earlier Ivy Bridge series, while IT dash four zero one zero U is the newer Haskell processor. In terms of the clock frequency, the M suffix as it denotes that it's a not a low power part. The U suffix denotes a low power part. And to keep the power low, you have to keep the processor core voltage and the clock frequency lower. So IC dash four zero one zero U is the power low at one point seven gigahertz, and that's what it will drive its performance low. So we are basically both of them do not have a turbo clock, or I3 uh, does not have two turbo clock. I5 processor has the uh, turbo uh, features. Now looking at the pass mark score, as we expected, the I3 dash 3110N has a much higher uh, performance, mainly driven by its higher clock frequency. Even though the newer Haswell architecture drives the performance per unit clock higher, but The clock difference is too much to that the architecture itself can fix it. Now the i3 dash 4110U, however, comes with a much better HD graphics. So if you are looking for low power, thin and light, higher battery life notebooks, the better graphics, you need to go with i3 dash 4110U. As you can see in the TDP rating, i3 dash 4310M has much higher uh, TDP thermal dissipation power rating, which Typically, also means that the processor will consume more power. Let's take a look at some of its more specifications on Intel website. To look at this, we have the Ivy Bridge, which it was launched two years ago in 2012, second quarter. It's, uh, it has 12 was launched. Uh, more recent processor. We already see that their the speeds are different. And so on and so forth. The price point, from the price point of view, even though the i3 dash 4110U is um, not better in performance, its price is higher mainly because it is a low power processor, which fits into the thinner laptops and has a better battery life. Uh, what other? Uh, basically, other than that, we have only the graphics as the main difference. So. From your perspective, if you have to go with the thinner, better, thinner laptop, more graphics power, and you don't care for the processor performance, you should go with the IT dash for zero one zero U. But if you do care for the processor only performance, for example, if you are doing mostly compiling things on and so forth, you need to go with Intel Core IT dash three one one zero U. Thanks and hope that this review is helpful for you.